This is how you demold a fiberglass part. You stick a wedge in and make a gap and then you can put a wedge in next to that and then another next to that and work your way around and it takes a certain amount of struggle and force to separate the part from the piece that it was molded against. In this case, I'm using clear packing tape as the mold release because I'm not using a mold as such. This, these parts are being molded off of the piece that they're going to fit over. And as an experiment, I did this one with blue packing tape. And this is looking really good. No wedges, no struggle. That just peeled right off of there. Although the packing tape is stuck to this other side, this, the part that I made from that. And it was taking so much time to peel it off that I decided it would take less time just to make the part over again. And because I was curious and possibly a glutton for punishment, I started by covering the whole thing with the blue painter's tape again. But this time, I'm covering the blue painter's tape with the clear packing tape. And I'm hoping that the blue painter's tape will release from the bottom layer as easy as it did before and the clear tape will separate from the top layer. So to complete the experiment I lay fiberglass over this to recreate the part that I screwed up the last time. And I think there's about three layers or so everywhere all around and once I've finished doing the edge which is really the part that I'm interested in I'll put one big piece over the middle and that's going to be cut away later but it stabilizes the part so that it's less likely to break during the demolding process and this works out so well I really didn't need to worry about that so here we go, no wedges, no tools, just grab it by hand and it peels right off. And I'm a little bit surprised here because I expected the blue tape to be on the part I just peeled off. And where this separated was actually the clear packing tape separated from the blue tape, leaving the blue painter's tape on the lower part, and the clear packing tape is on the upper part. And I probably could have made this blue tape come off a lot easier if I had put a couple of strips going the other way, so this could maybe all peel up in one big piece. once I've got my window separated I can peel the clear packing tape off of the window frame part that I just molded it also stuck to the plastic protecting the garage floor but once it was loose from that it peeled off of the part real easily So this is great. This is my mold release. It's just all of this tape. And there was no struggle, no wedges, no tools. Just grabbed it by hand and peeled the two pieces apart. And this is what your part will look like if you use the packing tape as a release layer. There's a lot of wrinkles and stuff that are inevitable with the tape. And because this is a one-off part and I saved myself the 
difficulty of making a buck and then a mold from the buck and then the part from the mold. I can spend a little bit of time cleaning this up and making it smoother. If I was making a lot of them, the mold would make sense. 